Hey everyone, it's day 48 of 365 Days of Creating Smiles, and today we... Today we were going shopping, we went to Metro, and we um, were in the parking lot, we parked a car, and we were in the parking lot, and we noticed these carts all over the parking lot, so we thought it would be nice for us to go and pick up the carts and put them away, because nobody likes to get into a parking lot with a cart beside it, because you don't know if it's going to roll into your car... Not only that, it sucks when it's like busy and you go to like park in a parking spot and then you pull in and there's a cart there and you have to yeah. get out and move it or you just move somewhere else. My logic is when I go to a grocery store and if I know I'm picking up heavy things, I will park where the cart thing is. So yeah. that way when I come out, I park, I put my stuff in my car and then I just have like a hop, skip and a jump right to put my cart away. Don't have to leave it astray. It's put back where it's supposed to go. I know. So we saw these carts and we thought we're going to help out. And like the one, buggy of, person. one of the carts were right behind a car. Yeah. Who puts a stray cart behind somebody else's car? They're not going to be able to get out. Like it's, yeah. it's really not that hard. And the sad thing was it was right beside the cart. Um, the cart like depot outside thing. Outside thingy. Mm -hmm. You couldn't just put it in. Some people uh, are in a hurry. I understand because I've been there myself. But we just thought it would be nice for us to go out and collect these carts because it was, you know, kind of windy. Don't want a cart getting into somebody's car. And that was the easiest thing to do. Sorry. But then we went in the store and... There was this little old lady who was trying to pick up... Well, she was trying to bend over. And you could tell that she was struggling to bend over to pick up her laundry soap. So we had... Well, mom had helped her and got that into the cart for her. And I just love helping people get things up. I know. Because I'm tall. They're like, can you get yeah. the crackers? I know. That happens to sure. me all the time. Or when something's on sale and they don't stock the shelf fast enough and they're always up top. Yeah. We I'm one struggling. of the ones that will climb up the rack to get. <laughs> I know. I love when people are like, hey, do you work here? It's like, no, I don't work here. Oh, okay, sorry. And it's like, did you need help with something? Like, yeah, can you just reach that for me? See that big sure. box way <laughs> over there in the top corner? Yeah, I need that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was really cool that we got to help out her. And then we also went to the cash, got our groceries and things, paid off our bill. And we gave our, we had five extra bags. So we gave them to the next person in line. Yeah. So, so all in all, guys, the Metro experience was really good. We did some small things. They may be small, but they're something. So yeah, we made three different people smile today. Yeah. So anything that you can think of to do to make somebody smile, it's worth it, no it matter how small. That's right. So just do it. And you know what you can do? Share this so we can get to 100 likes. That'd be great. Please. Just saying. Please. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.